Hey, Trey, uh, seems like you guys got a little bit of a pass rush going again last week. Um, just how refreshing was it to get that going again after uh, the Packers game? Oh, it's always fun to get after the quarterback. And, uh, you know, we're rolling again and uh, excited for this week. Next question is from Amy Just. They seem to be, and not just on the ends, on the interiors too, rotating y'all a little bit more than normal. Um, what benefits, in your perspective, does that add for y'all? Well, uh, that's a coaching decision, and but um, from a player, I mean, it, it's uh, when you got a group of guys like uh, Cam, Marcus, me, and Granderson. I mean, uh, we try to keep the level of play up to a standard, and uh, that's on us. Next question is from John DeSager. Detroit, how much are you, I guess, enjoying things now? I know, you know, guys say, you know, you don't necessarily, you know, live off stats and everything, but you're, you're being so effective now. How much are you just enjoying the game and, and what you're able to produce? Uh, well, uh, I'm a blessed man for the uh, statistics, but I never really played for statistics. I love playing football, and I love uh, striking blocks and getting after quarterbacks. Next question from Nick Underhill. Hey, do you feel like this is as, as well as you've played since you've been here so far? Um, well, I've always, you know, kept tapping the rock, and I've uh, overcome injuries since I've been here and all these kind of things. So um, building off every year is always a goal, so I always strive to get better. Do you feel, like getting, into, do you feel like getting into a rhythm at all? Do you feel like you're in, in a rhythm right now and things are just kind of just coming together for you? Uh, I think uh, with everything, it's uh, all about your preparation, you know, and, uh, you know, watching film and uh, going through practice and seeing the, the looks of the look squad. It's all a part of uh, the end result on Sundays. Next question is from Luke Johnson. It, Trey, I know you said it's not all about stats for you, but are, are you at least able to talk some smack on, on Cam Jordan for, like, kind of tripling his sack numbers so far this year? Well, I can tell you this. Uh, last year <clears throat> in Thanksgiving, he had four. So uh, the guy is pretty unblockable. And, uh, you know, I've had the pleasure of playing with him for the last four years. I mean, that guy knows how to bring it every day, every practice, and I wouldn't bet against him. Uh, serious question now. Uh, what does it do for y'all whenever Marcus is able to get back on the field? Um, but what does it do for you personally, maybe just having a, a little bit more rest in between in between reps? Um, what does he bring? Uh, well, he's a, a great friend for one, and for two, he's a great competitor. And uh, adding another one of those tools to our D-line can do nothing but get us stronger as a unit and raise the level of expectation a little higher. So I'm excited to get back to competing with him and getting after quarterbacks with him. Next one's from John DeSager. So, Trey, you also do special teams too. How, how much do you look forward to making an impact in that aspect of the game also? Uh, Riz did a great job coaching me this, uh, this uh, camp and I feel really prepared for anything they can throw at me and anywhere they can use me I'm ready. Uh, it's my job to do uh, for the Saints and for me personally to uh, you know whatever they need I'm there.